who will be crowned Mzanzi's next cooking star? The search continues right here on Color Your Plate with Ku. Hello, Dumelang, Rele Amokhela, Mzanzi cooking stars in the making. How are you feeling? Excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love to hear it. My name is Inelani Nkona and I am a caterer from Centurion Pretoria. I've been watching Color Your Plate with Ku very closely and I'm very excited about working in the kitchen. My name is Kutato Matibe. I'm from Pretoria. I'm a chef and a content creator. I make food content on Instagram where I share recipes with my followers. I like making food that feels comforting, that feels like home. So anything like stews and curries, breads, I love making bread. My name is Ndomizane Lebonaikele. I'm from Babeja. I work as a CDP chef. A little bit of anxious, but um, I know I have confidence in myself, and that's why I'm here. Hello, my name is Andrei. I'm from a small town in Petal and Pumalanga. I'm 23 years old and I'm a laboratory manager. I'm expecting to push myself to a point where I haven't been before. Um, cooking for my family is one thing, but entering a competition like this is totally different. I'm very excited. Now, as South Africans, we do not eat enough fruit and vegetables to lead healthier and happier lives for us and our families. At KU, our mission is to provide tasty, nutritious and convenient fruit and vegetable solutions for you to provide your families with balanced and wholesome meals and change your eating habits one plate at a time. And that's where you guys come in. We want you to help us to inspire South Africans to cook more creatively in the kitchen. So this is how it's going to work. The four of you will compete for a place in the next round. And each of you will have exactly the same ingredients in your mystery boxes. In that mystery box, you will have the Hero Ku ingredient alongside some other delicious ingredients at your disposal. I'm hoping that the mystery box does not have chakalaka because I feel that it is very flavorful and it would be hard for me to make it into my own dish. And you must use all ingredients in some way. And at the end of your challenge, only one of you will make it through to the next round. Well, and if you make it through, that will put you one step closer to the grand prize of 75,000 Rand from Ku. What a prize. Um, I definitely think that money can change an individual's life. And that's not all. The winner will also walk away with a Thermomix TM6 premium set worth over 40,000 Rand. Mm. Oh. Are you ready to color your plates? Yes! yes. <laughs> and now, Ruben, can you please help me reveal the mystery box? Yes! With pleasure, Arthur. Let's see what's in here. I definitely hope there's no something beans in the mystery box because I have no idea how to cook that at all. Mm. For today's challenge, we're going to hero our new range of cool dry pulses. You can use any of them in the challenge for today. You have the option to use green split peas, sand and beans, red pickled beans, brown lentils, and of course, our red lentils. I don't cook with pulses often, or none at all, so this is kind of scary. And in addition to that, you'll also have these ingredients. <laughs> Mushrooms, plain yogurt, bell peppers, and jungle oats. And I think you have noticed by looking at our mystery boxes that there's something that is missing that all South Africans love. Ahona nyama. Yes. flesh. Ako nyama. Of course, today we would like you to create a meatless meal solution. You know, for that midweek meal, that you can easily recreate at any time of the week. So think creatively, we want balance, and of course, color. Um, I love meat, and I've been cooking with meat in a lot of my dishes, so that's gonna be a challenge. I love cooking with pastas so much that my family complains, because I always try to get them to eat vegetarian food. We know this is a competition, but the idea is not to trip you up. I've prepared something to help you with uh, a bit more of an inspiration for today's challenge. Are you guys ready for a masterclass 
with these ingredients? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Be inspired by Koo's new dried pulse range. Perfect for all types of dishes, including meatless meals. Color your plate with Koo. I'm very excited about Robin's um, masterclass. I'll be learning more techniques on how he does things in his kitchen. I want to see what I'll learn and the kind of flavors that he'll have and what I can take away from that and incorporate into my dish. All right, everybody, welcome to my kitchen. He's not even a chef, he's <laughs> in <it's> his kitchen. <laughs> okay, so the two of us, well, I'm going to be showing you, Arthur's going to be my assistant. This is for you to obviously get some inspiration. Uh, we're going to be making um, a little a bit of a meze platter. So a nice sort of platter that can be shared. For the one element, we're going to be using the bell pepper that you, you're getting in your mystery box. And Arthur will be kind of charring that pepper to get it nice and smoky. The idea always when you cook is obviously to, to build flavor. Oh yeah, we want a bit of smokiness. We want that natural smokiness. And we're going to get that by charring that pepper really nice and dark. Yeah, and that's when we're going to get that flavor, OK? Here we have the ingredients that's going into that dip. So we have the bell peppers. OK. So that goes in our little processor. The other beauty of doing it like this and charring it, you're actually taking away some of that excess moisture. Now here we want intensity. And by doing it this way, we, we've almost taken away some of that moisture, so we'll get nice intensity in terms of the bell pepper flavor. So I've put all the bell pepper in our food processor because I want, I want that dip to be quite intense, okay? Now, yes, we're adding oats. So the oats has been soaked. When you soak it, it can actually be used to add uh, not just flavor, but also consistency to certain sort of uh, preparations, and in this case, a dip, for example. I never thought he was going to use the oats like I uh, imagined it to. The way he did, it gave me um, more ideas on how to create more dishes with the oats, but also you can make like a nice meal with it. I use oats in savory dishes as well. It is a nice ingredient to use and it adds texture to any dish. See, also, I think what Ruben was talking about earlier in terms of wanting the red pepper to be nicely charred, we're getting that color. And you can start to smell it now, eh? Yeah. We like a bit of heat, eh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna add the chili. Okay, and then some cumin. Again, we're talking about building flavor, toasted and ground cumin, smoked paprika. And it's really about just evoking the senses. If you evoke our senses in that way, think about acidity, think about you know, sweetness, saltiness, umami. You want to make sure that you're able to balance all the flavors. He's talking about the smokiness yeah. you know, from the bell pepper and also the paprika. It's really nice flavors that yeah. it's also building in there. And the lemon juice will basically bring, I mean, that's what lemon juice does. Other than just adding acidity, it obviously brings out the flavors of the other ingredients. So lemon juice goes in, okay, and then I like a tiny bit of sweetness too. Just a nice sort of sweetness to balance maybe mm. that acidity and all yeah. that other flavors in there. So I'm putting in some honey to add that sweetness. Uh, some pepper, salt, olive oil. Let's get that going. That's this experience is teaching me to think on my feet, to work fast, and to be very creative and think out of the box. Uh, Ruben is an exceptional chef. I absolutely love the way he's incorporating all of these items into his dish. OK, time to taste. Mm. <laughs> I love the texture. Delicious. It's a bit of a bite in it, Arthur, as well. I like the body that you get from the oats, quite smooth. Yeah. I yeah. like it. Is that a compliment? Yeah, it is a compliment. Yeah, you you did well. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next one where we'll be using split peas. Ruben, I'm excited about um, the split pea dip that you're going to make for us. And I love the versatility of green split peas because, you know, you can use them in different ways, in soups, on salads. And today he's making a dip, obviously. And it just shows you how you can always nourish your family. I mean, they are so fiber-packed. 
you know, good for digestive well-being. And that's what the crew cool range of dry pulses actually offer you. You know, some are protein packed and so that you can actually just get the benefits that you're looking for. Yeah. Right? You see, there's an, I think, another ingredient that just by looking at it, you, you go to certain dishes, which is maybe like a soup. You know, I think today we can show you that there's actually other things you can do with it as well, whether it's a dip or a spread. But back to our dip. So we, we're gonna make a dip, but it's close enough to kind of a pesto. So the ingredients going in there is our sunflower seeds. Arthur will just kindly toast them for us. And again, that's just to sort of yeah. bring out some extra flavor. Uh, we roasted our garlic. So when you roast the garlic, obviously it, it takes away a bit of the pungency. You'll still get the garlic uh, taste, but there's a bit of sweetness that comes with it as well, as, as well as that kind of a bit of kind of roasted uh, taste. And then there's ingredients here that goes really well with peas, or split peas especially, mm. which is mint. Wow. Mint and peas are a classic combination. It's a bit unusual, maybe mm. in, 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 in this type of dip yeah. here, for example. Okay, so the mint goes in. Got some uh, fresh sweet basil that goes in as well. Okay, and then, still talking about building flavor. These onions were sweated off or braised off in the pan with a little bit of olive oil. And then we added some curry powder to that. So we've just added the curry powder in there just to again soften it a little bit. And then obviously the hero. Yeah. Our split uh, peas. A lot of this cookie is always fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, parmesan cheese, olive oil. Arthur, can you do a bit of pepper for us, if you don't mind? Okay. Some salt. Bring it on. Okay, Arthur, let's have a taste. Lovely. Okay. I can taste all those ingredients we've added in there, and I don't think there's any masking of the other ingredient. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's done. So let's bring our platter together. Okay, Arthur, so here we have our meze platter. Uh, it looks beautiful. It's missing just our, our last uh, tip. So here we've used uh, the yogurt that's in your mystery box together with some feta, salt and pepper. Keep it nice and simple. Okay. I think it's time for us to taste. Before we do, do you guys have any uh, questions for me? Chef, for the red pepper dip, if you want to make it vegan, what would you substitute the honey with? If you want to get to something just to get that balance in terms of flavor, I think there's plenty ingredients in terms of sweetness that you can add, like sugar, uh, golden syrup. But yeah, it really, the job of it is to balance the flavor. It's not just to add sweetness, just for the sake of it. In terms of using this, the green split peas, how long do you think I should cook it, basically, to get it nice and tender? You've got an hour, so uh, I would say about 30 minutes sometimes 45 minutes if you want it a bit softer. You know, sometimes people like to blend half and keep the other half kind of like more chunky, but you'll have more than enough time. Okay, thank you. Okay, come come and taste. And I think what is biscuit. nice about um, this meze platter is just about sharing, you know, and ab abundance. You know, this spread, you can just share it with your family or friends. Uh, the tip that I'm taking away from the master class is not be scared of experimenting with flavors and also learning how to use things in an alternative way than what we were used to. I think the technique that stands out for me the most is taking that pepper and putting it on an open flame and just to get the, the smokiness from the pepper itself. I like the smokiness of the red pepper. Mm. Right. Even nice. the split peas, I mean, nice texture different type of um, consistency than maybe a pesto. Mm -hmm. But as a dip, that's also, you know, it's, it, you taste everything in there. The mint works well with it as well. Well, I hope you guys are feeling inspired now. Are you ready to color your plates? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Excellent. Cookware supplied by Chef Diversitas. State-of-the-art German technology reduces energy consumption by up to 20%. Who's new dried pulse range, endorsed by the Heart and Stroke Foundation. Color your plate with Koo. We are looking for meatless creativity. Only one of you can go through to the next round. Contestants, are you ready?
Yes. <laughs> right, you have one hour on the clock. Ready? Yes. Ready. Color your plates. Andrew, what are you making for us today? So I'll be making the soup, a red split lentil, the oh, red nice. ones, and the green ones. I'm going to incorporate them together. Is this the type of cooking that you um, this is the first make time, at home? This is the first time I'm using the red split lentils, and mm. as well as the green split um, peas as well. So mm. the dry the dry ingredients I haven't done before, so mm. this is something new for me. Okay. And what does being on the show mean to you? I always wanted to be a chef, but I took a different turn in life. I'm in the laboratory side, so, but it's also, oh. you know, analysis, so it's a, it's so a, it's testing. A, it's a yeah, science. It's a science, so cooking is a science. I actually love cooking so much. And yeah. now you come onto a show and you're going to be cooking with dried split pea is uh, lentils and I wasn't split peas expecting it for at the first all. time. Yeah, no, hey? I wasn't expecting it at all, but yeah, let's make okay. the best of it. So, but you're making yeah. a soup just loaded with flavor, so yes, we're looking forward to that. Okay. Thank you so much, Chef. Enjoy, Enjoy the cook. Thank you so much. This dish is quite close to my heart. It's something we basically grew up with. It's my grandmother's recipe, so I'm just twitching it up a little bit. Hi, Zanelli. Hey, Hello, Zanelli. How are you doing? I'm good, and yourself? Good. Listen, I'm, I'm really interested to see what you're going to produce today because, I mean, you're a chef. Yes. And you normally, you work in a game reserve? Yes. I'm you cook mostly with meat, I suppose? Yes. Yes. And today there's no meat. How's that going to go? I'm used to it because sometimes we'll get um, like those um, vegan um, guests, yeah, and vegetarian guests. The, it is a challenge because of the oats, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I will make it work. As long as I know what I'm doing mm -hmm. and then I have my prep. Yeah. yeah. Most and yes. what, are you, what are you making? Um, I'll be making um, a green peas um, split uh, with a ground lettuce salad. I'll smoke my mushrooms mm. with my thyme and then I'll do um, my salad dressing with the yogurt. A salad uh, for maybe for some people won't sound that exciting. I love salads. We are going to be looking for that nice sort of balance of sweet acidity, uh, textures, all those type of things where it all comes together. Yeah, and just enjoy cooking and have fun. Right? Thank you. <laughs> Most of the time, when we have rice in our homes, we will cook um, like potato salad, we will cook like chakalaka. I want to show them that we can use these dry ingredients to make a delicious um, salad for the rice. You have 45 minutes left, 45 minutes left. You still have enough time, so get cooking. Yeah, don't go any slower. Keep going, keep going, guys. You can do this. Color those plates! Anelani. Mijani. Mifuki ni mijani. Mifuki ile. Yes. Usoka hini. Meatless meatballs. I like the concept of a meatless uh, meatball, right? Yes. And I just want to know, uh, Anelani, is this the type of cooking you make at home? We love meat, so yes, I'm okay. cooking with meat. Yes. But Today, I'll, I'll substitute the meat with mushrooms and the lentils and yes. see how that works out. And Elani, and the jungle oats, how do you plan to incorporate it into your dish? I will use it in the meatballs as well, because I usually uh, put oats in mince meatball as well. So mm -hmm. I'll, sub I'll also use it on this one. You put okay. each jungle oats in, in, in the, the meat, meat meatballs? Yes. Eh? Good luck. Thanks. What's that? What's wrong, Good thing, like I. Good thing. What's that? I'm gonna make um, red lentil and black bean koftas with a avo and yogurt herb dressing. What did you choose from the cool range of pulses? I chose the red split peas. So you chose a red split lentils? Yes. Which are going to the kofta? Yes. Oh, nice. Um, I'm going to use the oats as a binder to keep it together and the black beans are going to add a little bit of a texture to it. But I see you got inspiration from Ruben. You're charming <laughs> the pear, Yes. Yeah, so what's your plan with that? It's going to be a hummus, a red pepper, a roasted red pepper hummus. Eh? Yes. So Kotato, it's again, get down and do your thing. Make sure you look at the time yes. and, and make sure you plate in time. Mm. Right. She has a work cut out for her. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All the best, Kotato. 
Right now I am making a sauce for the meatballs. So I've just added balsamic vinegar, brown sugar, and some tomato sauce as well. I'm still trying to find my feet right now and then I'll see at the halfway mark if everything's going according to plan. In my pan, I have a drum split pan, brown lentils, and also have the celery. I, I make these ingredients because I'm making a salad. I will also add the chickpeas and they will all, they will bring those colors, like different brown, green, and yellow. Yeah, it will be good for your bride. You have 30 minutes left. We are halfway. Ladies and gentlemen, come on, come on, come on. Come on, guys, time is running out fast. I'm looking at my ingredients on the stove in front of me. I'm not there yet. I'm just toasting some breadcrumbs over here, which I'll be serving on top of my uh, on top of my soup, and just making them pop. It will just give a little bit of you know body to the meal, and and I create it in some Parmesan cheese as well. Oh, this is definitely part of me just experimenting with my grandma's meal and just putting my own flavour in there, and that's what I'm incorporating because it's my taste and it's everything that I love basically. And Elani, we are halfway through. Are you yes. halfway through in terms of your cook? No. So what is your plan? Um, work faster. Susanele, <laughs> <laughs> I see your oats isn't opened yet. Where's that going to go? How are you going to use going it? To, I'm going to roast it. I want to add it on top of my salad for that um, crunch. So, so it's more like the crunch at your after? Contestants, you only have 15 minutes to go. One, five. This is when you have to start thinking how you want to plate your dish. So let's go! Mm. Smells good. Thank you. <laughs> Almost of my all components are done. So my plan was to roast it once everything is done so that it still have that trangy um, taste. But I still have a um, few things to do. But I'm there, I'm just waiting for my oats to, to be in that spot I wanted to be, and then I will start plating. Hello, Ms. Coftus. Hello. How is it going? Good, I think. 14 minutes left. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you go according to plan, everything? Yeah, yeah, I'm almost done. I'm almost oh, done. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, so we can expect something spectacular from when? Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm actually getting very excited seeing all of you guys cook. <laughs> I want to taste everything. Thank you. One by one. And Alani, everything yes. going well? Yes, everything. I see you all replacing. Yes, I just want to start with yeah. right as it goes to save a bit of time. Yeah. Mm. But can we discuss how your meatballs don't look like they don't have meat in them? Yes, that's the whole point. And that's how good the lentils are. Yes. What is the sauce? Um, I just made barbecue sauce using soy sauce, balsamic vinegar, and brown sugar. Oh, so that it's gonna glaze the meatballs now. Yes. Make them so nice. Wow. Interesting challenge today. A lot of imaginative ideas, and I'm, I think I'm excited. And the fact that you can make meatless meatballs that look like meat. That's clever. The barbecue sauce that she made. And I think if the balance is really good, I think it's really just going to, you know, carry those meatballs beautifully. But I've also noticed that mm. they're all very calm, they're all very mm. focused, mm. and they know what they need to do and when they need to do it. There's not a lot of clutter that's going on. But I just want to say, yes, they're calm now. There's obviously less than 10 minutes to go. Yeah. Because plating is also important. Yeah. 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 How mm. it looks. Yeah. Is there a certain dish that you would really love to taste out of all four of them? I think at this moment for me, it's difficult to say. Yeah, I know. Uh, the proof will be in the pudding. Yeah. Yeah. There's our puddings today, I think. <laughs> Cofters into the hot pan, everything was looking good. And then it was time for me to flip them over. I saw that the cofters were starting to fall apart. Some of them are falling apart, some are holding together, but I have to move on. Stretch your meals with Koo's new dried pulse range. 
five rich and tasty options to choose from. Color your plate with Koo. I cannot milk. I can't even stop me. I'm spraying it here. Okay, one minute to go. The kofta falling apart, I think, could show a bit of a flaw in my dish, but I think that the flavor concept that I have is good enough. Well, I need to start fighting now. Otherwise, I'm not going to make it. I'm just waiting for this to heat up a little bit. 30 seconds to go, 30 seconds. Come on, guys, move it. I'm still looking at my plate. It doesn't have that color. I am a bit nervous, but I'm glad that I've got everything on the plate and everything went according to plan. I feel like time was flying. I just had to be a bit of an octopus and do so many things at the same time. I still need to get my mushrooms out of the oven. I should have just fried it, and I think I'm gonna be in time. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, stop cooking! Stop cooking! Stop cooking. Well done, guys, well done. Oh, what's that hard to say? Well done. <laughs> you did good. Time's up. I look to my right and I see my yoga dressing is not topped on my dish. Hopefully, it doesn't count against me. I'm happy. I'm very happy. Um, I got everything on the plate, I'm done, and I used all the ingredients. I think it's beautiful, and there's a lot of good flavor in there, so yeah, hoping for the best. That's not right, I wish I could add more like herbs on top of my salad, but otherwise I'm 100% happy with my meal. Um, I'm just a little bit disappointed because I never put on my yoga dressing. Besides that, I'm very happy, to be honest with you. Meatless Meals Challenge, guys. How was that? Yeah, look, I mean, I think uh, we were all pretty excited. I, I know you were very excited, I especially. I was, I was. Because uh, for me, it's always, it's all very well for us to say you can create a meatless meal solution, mm. right, for midweek mm. delights. But we know that if you have to tap into something you're uncomfortable about, it yes. can easily go wrong. And then also make it creative exactly. enough to win you a spot into the next round. Yeah, today was really a good day in the kitchen. Yeah. And I hope it's going to really show in the dishes that we're going to see today. Yeah. Let's Have bring on the first dish. plate. <laughs> I'm very nervous, but I'm very happy with my dish. I managed to use all the ingredients. I finished on time, so I'm looking forward to hear what the judges are going to say. Hello, Elelani. Hello. Hmm. That looks beautiful. Thank you. How was the challenge for you today? Um, it was very challenging. I, I wasn't sure how I'll be able to cook without meat because mm -hmm. I really cook with a lot of meat. Besides that, making the meatballs and seeing the way they came out at the end, I think I did well. So tell us, what is your dish? So I made open sandwich with roasted pepper spread, meatless meatballs and fried mushrooms. Well, on the eye, it already looks like mm -hmm. very tasty, meaty meatballs. Yes. <laughs> We're looking forward to tasting it. Thank you. Thank you so lunch. much. Let's taste. Um, sometimes when you make meatballs using lentils and uh, you know grains and pulses, for example, it can be quite dense. When I when I cut into it, that oh the texture is a little bit dense. But once you actually sort of chew it, it breaks quite easily in your on your palate, on your mouth. Loaded with flavor, packed with flavor. Uh, there's a bit of a um, sort of sweetness that runs through the whole dish. That's maybe need something to cut through that sweetness to balance everything. But I would say as a, as a dish that contains no meat, well done. Conceptually, perfect. Execution, really great. Overall, the way you approached this challenge today, it, it really worked. Thank you. I was watching you, you were very calm, you were focused, and you knew what you were doing every step of the way. Um, I think that's a testament to how much you really want this competition. Your plate of food, it, What's it, what's it, Koshe Munati? Ne? 
when you bring things together, it's the lyrics, it's the melody, it's the way it all comes together. That's what your plate of food felt like. I would have really liked maybe a little bit more salt on the mushrooms just to cut the sweetness. But when you put, bring it all together, it just was a beautiful melodic song. You know, I, I could eat this plate and finish it. Beautifully done, beautifully done. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anela. I'm very proud of my dish. Tembiso's comments were constructive, and I'm happy about that. It's no, really good. Great start, great start. I've used the mystery box ingredients creatively, and I think the judges will really enjoy my dish. But um, I'm quite nervous. My yoga dressing is not topped on my dish. Hopefully it doesn't count against me. Hello, Andre. Hello, judges. Hi. Andre, so how did that go? Did you manage to finish everything on time? I managed to finish everything on time, yes. But I actually forgot to put my yogurt dressing on top. Oh, but yeah. you did make it. But I did make it, yeah. What um, happened? Did you run out of time? Did you forget? I actually forgot it inside the container. Okay, so what did you make first? I made a red lentil and green split pea soup with breadcrumbs with Parmesan cheese and sunflower seeds, which I roasted in a pan. Oven roasted mushrooms and some balsamic vinegar. And you're happy with your dish? I'm extremely happy with my dish. All right, Thank then. you. Okay, let's taste. Andre, um, I thought there's nice flavor there. Uh, I see you use some uh, mustard seeds and all yes. sorts of ingredients like that in there. So you obviously were building flavor. So you're adding a bit of honey and like kind of balancing all those things going on in there. I think the, the yogurt would have kind of added a bit of freshness to it. With maybe a different sort of ratio of ingredients, I would even enjoy it even more. Okay. Yeah. I absolutely agree with you in terms of the ratio. Andre, I, there's there's a lot going on on the plate. Mm. But the nice thing is that each element on the plate brings in a different flavor. I wish I could have experienced each flavor um, equally. And I really would have loved to have that yogurt dressing on there because it would have cut those flavors a little bit and bring some acidity there and, and a bit of chili there too. And, just to overall make it a little roundish, you know? From eating this, I can see that this is your passion. And honestly, whatever happens today, please don't stop. Thank you. Yeah, Andre, I thought um, your cooking was very honest. Lentils, as well as the green split peas, really worked nicely in the dal. I would call it a dal as yeah. well. Yeah. I think because it had a nice density to it. But I think for what you've produced today, you should be proud of yourself. Thank you. Bye, Danke, Andre. Bye, Danke, Yella. Thank you. Thank you. I'm quite disappointed. I'm definitely taking into consideration what every judge said to me. I definitely think the yogurt's going to work against me for leaving it out. The issue with Andre's meal is editing. The mushrooms were cooked in such a way that it's actually quite potent in flavor, so it, it almost overpowers it. Mm. Everything is overpowering mm. each other to the point where I, I had to is everything burnt or is it just me? Let's be honest now. Because we did say that you have to incorporate everything that is in that box mm -hmm. and he did not. We know that's the rules, so that's the rules and we have to apply it. Yeah. The rules are set. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, on to the next plate. Yeah. Meatless Meal Solutions with Koo's new dried pulse range. Tasty, versatile and good for you. Colour your plate with Koo. So far in the competition, I've done everything in my power to give the judges the best meal. But we don't know what they're thinking or if they're going to like the dish. But I'm excited to hear what they think. Potato. Yes. Mmm. Potato. Uh, tell us how today's challenge was for you. I think the time moved very fast, but I was able to accomplish everything that I wanted to do. What do you have 
uh, in front of us? Um, in front of you judges, I have a black bean and a red split lentil kofta. And at the base, we have a roasted red pepper hummus. And then on top, I drizzled a yogurt, avo and herb dressing. I garnished the dish with some pickled red onion and then I put some feta and microgreens. Okay, so you found the challenge not using meat. For you, that was an issue? No, that was not an issue. I like playing with vegetables and pulses just to test myself. Shall we taste? Let's taste, guys. Ooh, there's a punch there. <laughs> Kotato, which was your hero ingredient? Uh, red lentils. All right. I don't know what they're going to think of my dish. Is it to their taste? Is, are they going to like it? So for now, it's just fingers crossed. Kotato, let's not beat about the bush. <laughs> Thank you. Wapi, how are you doing? As I'm going into your dish, it's like going into a maze and at every corner you see something new, you feel something new. And the flavors that come in and out of your palate, it's so beautifully put together. Nagi Ratila Manus, I think you did a beautiful job. Well done. Thank you. I mean, Khotazo, uh, it's very evident that um, there's a lot of consideration that went into this dish. Mm. And I mean, the clever use of, you know, the hero ingredient and you know, just the way you've made it and really making a variation of kofta that I actually like. I mean, it was just a delight to eat. I mean, today, I think I can officially say I'm living. <laughs> Kotato, I have to say, if this is what sort of uh, vegetarian food could be like, I think we'd eat more of it. For, for my palate, I would like, if you go in that direction, to then use olive oil as like that, um, I think the addition of that and the mouthfeel could also work for that. Mm. Uh, but that's now kind of in addition to already something that works. So I would say well done. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, judges. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Thanks, Dr. To hear that from Chef Ruben Riffle, such a respected person in the industry, I am so honored. I didn't miss anything. Like, I didn't miss meat or anything. Not at all. Like, Not at all. I think for me, I couldn't find any faults in this dish at all. Okay, let's bring on the last dish. Things didn't go well as I planned. Um, I gave my all. I'm just waiting for the judges, but um, hopefully for the best. Nele. Goes. Your initial idea of the salad, is that what you then got to make or not completely? It's not what I expected. Um, I thought I had it, but um, as soon as um, I started cooking and then I started feeling the pressure, but this is it. So what did you make for us today? Today I made roasted and brown lentil and split green peas a salad. I add the thyme on my mushroom and then I add some chickpeas. Okay. Thanks, Anneli. We're going to taste. Zanale, I think there are some discernible issues with um, the dish that you made today. Uh, I think the dish didn't quite come together. I think um, um, there's a lot of elements and components that um, are really fighting with each other. It feels like the apricot that was on the side was just a last minute afterthought because it's not really bringing anything in terms of, you know, the cohesion of the dish. Daniela, I, I know what happened here. I think you overcooked the split peas and I think there was lentils and those type of things in there. And then I think it just sort of maybe cooked too far and then it became mushy. Uh, the reality is this isn't a salad. I mean, it's not a salad. It's not kind of how a salad is constructed. I think that's where it went wrong, but I like what you did with the oats. I think um, that as a crunch element on a dish works really well. Um, it's just kind of unfortunate that that kind of like happened to your euro ingredient that you couldn't sort of like bring it back. Yo, nah, nah, that's why I'm calling it. Because I'm a plum. 
because we bona gadi ndlela bufuna ihamba bengathi uhamba yahamba yahamba yafike off ramp wayedlula wena wabe ngathi ufuna uri jwesi ufuna ngena yaqon so the challenge really ran away from you the flavors as well they don't come together i think the way that you would have wanted them to and then everything then became a little bit mushy but listen you took part in this challenge already i mean and it's not done it's not over yet but these are the things that can happen if you cook against the clock and uh, so you mustn't be too hard on yourself we're not mm. we're not hard on you we're just giving you constructive feedback because one bad cook right can really determine your food journey so you're still in this competition right Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Zanelle. Ngos. My feedback from the judges is not great. Uh, I did expect um, what did they say, but yeah. Oh, my heart. Mm. Guys, my mm. heart, honestly. I'm just looking at her and my heart is breaking for her. I mean, it was just a mess for her altogether. I think we've tasted some. Uh, interesting creations yeah. we had some delicious food and uh, you know some less successful ones yeah. so i think it's time for us to make a decision i can see looking at my teammates the tension is quite high i am feeling nervous i have used all my ingredients in the mystery box and i think that i used them very well i don't know uh, I got constructive feedback and there's a lot a lot I could have done differently. Now when I get is here is in though when Baola was zen and a client was zen and my pleasure got a feedback here so we land them in the end. Let's see what happens. So today's challenge was to create meatless um, meal options to inspire South Africans to create well-balanced and nutritious food without needing meat. And I think we can definitely say that you guys did an incredible job. So please give yourselves a round of applause. Sanele, you clearly struggled with your dish. I think you wanted to make a salad. Uh, I think towards the end of the time that was allotted, it was maybe too late to also pivot. Unfortunately, today it just didn't pay off. And I think your nerves got the better of you. Mm. So unfortunately, you will not be going through. I wasn't looking forward to going home at the first round, but I'm not disappointed in myself. I will just try it more, more, more. The challenge was to create these meals using every single ingredient in your mystery box. Andre, unfortunately, you did not include every single one of your ingredients that were in your mystery box. You did not fulfill the requirements and you will not be going through to Thank the top you. six. Thank you. I'm quite disappointed, but I knew from the start that I needed to use all my ingredients in the mystery box. So it is what it is. Anelani, the meatless meatballs were very tasty. The flavors that you had there, I mean, that barbecue sauce was just a crown to the meatballs. And Hotazo, that dish that you had was beautiful. It was such a feast to the senses. And the two of you, have shown that eating meatless meals can be exciting and enjoyable. But at the end of the day, only one of you can make it to the top six. The winner of this challenge and the person moving on to the next round is... Kotato. I'm so happy to hear that I will be going to the top six. I'm so excited. I can't wait for the next challenge. I was so close, but it's not going to get me done. I'm going to continue cooking and hopefully I'll be back again next year. Yeah, I'm just disappointed I didn't win. Potato, well done. As the winner of today's challenge, you walk away with a Chef Diversitas cookware set to the value of 10,000 Rand. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now, I have to say, I think this was another learning experience, and I really hope 
that you guys continue to take on these type of challenges going forward because this is by no means the end. Andre, so I admire you for what you did here today. Well done and continue cooking. Zanele, you were a young chef. Mm -hmm. You're still gonna be cooking, still learning. So there's more to learn and we wish you luck in your career. And Alani, I, I, can, I could taste the talent. So, you know, just keep on cooking. Well done. Thanks guys. I am the proud owner of a Chef Diversitas cookware set. This is going to help me level up my cooking skills. I am bringing my unique style, my skills, and my food knowledge to the top six. I am ready for the top six. Bring on the challenge. Come on, Chefy, man. Hey, <laughs> you win some, you lose some. That's how yeah. it goes to control it. Okay, this is a learning experience. So do other competitions again. It's good for you. Okay. Inspiring Zanzi to be healthier and stronger with tasty, convenient and nutritious meal solutions. See you next week on Color Your Plate with Koo. Another feel-good production.